Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet because I'm feeling kind of sick and I don't know how long my throat is going to last. But if we're going to talk about today is Unreal Engine, specifically Unreal Engine 5.7. If you head on over to the Epic Games launcher, you will notice two things. One, there is a new version available. This is 5.7 Preview. That preview part is very important. That means do not use this in production. Of course, many of you are going to ignore that advice, but it is not meant for production. This is obviously a pre-release kind of the equivalent of a beta or an alpha. 5.7 will come probably in about six weeks if previous timelines were matching. By the way, while you are here, I covered this in a previous video, but you'll notice there is now a Fab tab. Yes, Fab has been integrated directly into the Epic Games Launcher. They added a ton of new features here as well, the ability to multi-select, the ability to export bulk, and so on. Lots of nice things here. Uh, do be sure to check that one out. But today what we're focusing on is Unreal Engine 5.7 Preview. And the heart of this release is definitely what you see in front of you. This is procedural generation. Now, this was first released as an experimental feature uh, back in uh, 5.2, I believe, at GDC 2023. We got our first look at the procedural generation aspects of it. So what exactly is procedural generation? Well, it is the ability to build large swaths of terrain and land using a set of rules, basically blueprints that tell it how to create the world. So you got some pretty drastic things here. For example, here, I can have cliff versus no cliff and you're going to see the immediate results so we can also see uh the maximum scale of our plants affect everything accordingly or we can get down into the fine nitty gritty details and we've got this control spline for it this guy right here and i could grab a control point alter that and then you're going to see everything updates accordingly. So that is definitely uh, one of the highlight features here. So why am I talking about it? Well, that's because this is no longer experimental. This is considered production ready. They've also said that there's been a two times increase in performance since the initial release back in uh, Unreal Engine 5.2. So if you wanted to play around with procedural generation, it is now considered ready to use in the real world. Uh, so uh, that is there. We also have a couple of new additions to it. These are considered uh, either experimental or beta features. One of them is along the lines of procedural generation once again. So let's go here, content, create a new, and we select foliage right here. And you'll notice you now have procedural vegetation. Now this was actually implemented via a plugin. So you do have to turn this on to check it out. Again, it is also considered experimental. Uh, so it, it could take a little bit of time for it to be ready. And there's also the fact that it's experimental means it could potentially never come to the engine, but I highly doubt that. So here you can see we created our new procedural vegetation. This uses feeds from uh, the fab store. Uh, so you've got root vegetation you can work with, and then you can basically do fine tune control over how that is actually generated, what to work with it, and you can make things accordingly. So you've got this new procedural vegetation plugin available there, and then we have another new plugin uh, that's available. So this one, once enabled, is the new AI Assistant. Apparently this was trained on Unreal Engine 5.6 and is available to run in a browser, but now you can actually run this inside of Unreal Engine 5.7. Now this is not considered ready for production use, uh, although I can say, are you working? And you can ask questions. Basically, you can say, like, create me a blueprint to do this, that, or whatever. Right now, this AI um, integration, the AI assistant, is considered a stub, uh, although it is answering questions here. So I don't know what more is going to happen. Uh, but this one, once again, is enabled via a plugin. So you're going to find it here, uh, AI assistant, right there. It's considered experimental. And then the other one we have is uh, vegetation, vegetation which I apparently can't spell, procedural, procedural Vegetation Editor is also available, uh, again, as an experiment. So procedural generation is a big part of this release, but that is by no means all that we've got. So we got here the official announcements of the 5.7 release. Again, procedural generation is now production ready, uh, and it is a lot faster than the initial release, they said. Uh, and on top of that, again, the new Procedural Vegetation Editor, uh, and then over top of that, we also have Nanite Foliage. Again, this is experimental. Uh, this should create, uh, so plants and such in your world should be able to render using Nanite technology, should be faster, and so on. Uh, two other big aspects of this are these two right here. Mega Lights is now available in beta. Mega Lights was announced in the 5.6 release, I believe, as experimental. Uh, this gives you... Um, 
all kinds of control over lighting. Uh, it's going to give you the ability to actually use a texture as a light source, should speed up light rendering and so on. There's also quite a few limitations of what it can't do right now. Uh, but that's one of those things to be aware of. Megalites is coming. It is now considered beta. Uh, and then Substrate, which is their new material system, which gives you fine-tuned control over your shaders. You've got new things here. So you can combine multiple layers, such as metal, clear coat, skin, and cloth. Uh, so it's a new way of defining shaders or, or textures in your world uh, instead of just the traditional PBR. So again, you have things like glossiness and clear coat and so on that you can work with. Substrate is now also considered production ready. Uh, also a number of improvements to metahumans. Again, animations just keeps getting more and more uh, new capabilities and updates as well. Uh, and then also to the rigging tools, etc. And then we've got a little bit more on the Epic developer assistance. Again, uh, it will launch with the full release of 5.7. So you're just seeing the UI stubbed in the preview, although it does seem to work for me. So I'm not sure exactly where the, the differences are, but if you want to go ahead and check it out, it is available online to check out. So first off, we do have the roadmap. This is kind of uh, the highlights of what's going on in 5.7. We can even go further into the future if we wish to do so. But the 5.7 releases, again, the big new ones are the substrate, which is that new material system that they've got going on. It is now considered production ready. Megalites has moved into uh, beta here. Uh, again, uh, adding f feature supports are here. So again, it doesn't have feature supports or certain things I would think were mandatory for lighting, things such as translucency and directional lighting. Uh, so that one is still pretty early on, even though it has moved to beta. Uh, nanite foliage and skinning uh, as experimental level, uh, and then a bunch of other things here as well. So definitely uh, a, a substantial release in terms of what is here. We also have the procedural uh, generation editor mode available here. So you can do uh, your work right there. So editor tools mode in Unreal offers a library of customizable tools leveraging the procedural generation framework, such as drawing splines, uh, paint or create volume, and so on. And yeah, so that's that's the gist of Unreal Engine 5.7. Uh, the big thing here again is procedural generation and substrate are considered ready for production. Uh, and then all those other things we mentioned earlier on. So here it is. Uh, uh, one of the this is the epic developer assistant you can check this out online if you want to do so and i could do something like uh create me a blueprint uh that randomly moves an actor each frame so something like that and it's going to immediately spit out two results when i first saw this i'm like oh my god this is like one of the, like the first generation help bots that just search their um you know local database and then give you complete and utter crap but instead it gives you step-by-step -step ai instructions so everybody has an ai tool at this point in time and genuinely because it hooks into their own um documentation and knowledge bases and so on from the supplier tends to be the best source you've got. So I, I think this is a good thing to see. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and play around with it, uh, it is available right here. Now, interestingly enough, the last time I asked a very similar question, it gave me the ability to copy and paste it. Uh, this one is not doing that, but it is giving me step by step on how to do it. Uh, so yeah, there is this new AI chatbot, but this is technically coming in 5.7, even though you can install it as an experimental plugin right now. Uh, and if you want, again, it is available. Uh, this is uh, the web, so it's available at dev.epicgames.com forward slash community forward slash assistant. If you want to go ahead and check it out, you can do basically uh, back and forth chat with it and learn uh, from the Epic Games knowledge base, basically. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. This is Unreal Engine 5.7 preview. Again, the star of the show, uh, no doubt, is that substrate and procedural generation are now considered production ready. Although what that actually means in this day and age is a little rando. So let me know what you think Unreal Engine 5.7. Are you excited? Are you not? Let me know. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.